Billy Green here from the Australian Conservation Party and we're here to talk about recycling and climate change. Now we all like to recycle as it's it doesn't it's doesn't achieve anything and it's economically unviable but we it makes us feel good doesn't it eh? so we put our rubbish in there like that and then we wheel it to the front door and that we just get a sense of fulfillment etc out of that We're also very water conscious. We don't like to lose water. We can see here how bad the it is. Can't we? Hey. Have rallies and protests and marches. You know. The trees. I mean, they wanted to cut down a tree. Why would you cut down a tree? That's, that's, that's beyond... What for? What for? So we need to go out and say Stop cutting down the tree. You know, so I think, and a lot of us miss Vietnam. I miss Vietnam. And so we protest about things. Save the world. Uh, um, Go home, Yankee. And look what climate change has done to it. It's, it doesn't look anything like a chrysanthemum. In fact, it looks like something that's diseased, right? Sad. I couldn't say. I couldn't shed a tear. I couldn't shed a tear. Now you may well recall the film Once for Warriors. Well, this was once a begonia. Once for a begonias. Once for a begonia. It's a bit like the dinosaurs, isn't it? In the Ice Age, really. <laughs> I mean, you know. Where's the dinosaurs? Nowhere. That's what happened to them. Climate change, I reckon. We, we all saw what happened. Well, we didn't say it, we weren't there, but history tells us, and people say history repeats. I, I can't remember anything about history except the rum call, but still, there was... Apparently that was an ice age, you know.